November 20th. Stilling life's storms. He makes the storm a calm, so that the waters thereof are still. Then they are glad because they be quiet, so he bringeth them unto their desired haven. Psalm 107.29-30 This psalm contains five wonderful pictures of life. First, we see the travelers who have lost their way, next, prisoners and captives who sit in darkness, then we see a sick room, next, a terrific storm at sea, and finally, the lovely picture of a desert land being turned into a fertile landscape. The refrain, calling upon men to praise the Lord for his goodness, is repeated four times, and the psalm closes with the fervent thought that all who are wise will give heed to the various dealings of God, as shown in these acts of his loving kindness. In all lives there are periods of tumult and storm. We are whirled about by angry billows, and it seems as though we shall never reach the harbor of peace and rest. Some give themselves up to such experiences as a fate which they cannot avoid, or attempt to drown their fears and dull their senses to suffering and danger. But faith cleaves its way through the murky mists and driving cloud rack, and establishes a sure connection with the throne of the Eternal Father. This is what the New Testament calls the anchorage of the soul, and however severe the storm that sweeps over the earth, the soul that shelters there is safe. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. At this moment you may be passing through a storm of outward trouble. Wave after wave beats upon you, as one calamity is followed by another, until it seems as though the little bark of your life must be overwhelmed. Look up to God and cry to him. He sees you, and will not allow you to be engulfed. Or you may be experiencing inward sorrow. Your affections have been misplaced, the one you love has deceived and failed you, and the sky is now dark and stormy. The one resort of the soul when it is hard driven, is to look up to him who holds the wines in his fist, the waters in the hollow of his hand, and who cannot forget or forsake those who cry to him. Prayer O God, we will praise thy name for thy goodness to us, and for thy wonderful works to the children of men. May thy gentle voice hush our fears, and still life's storms into a great calm. Amen.